Ted Tolner is the president of the San Diego Bowl Game Association. These are long titles, so I got to yeah. read them. And then we have Mark Neville. You're the executive director. He's the boss. That's the, the boss. Bowl. No, this guy's the boss. No, he's the boss. Good to know. Ted, so you were a quarterback's coach in 1981 here at BYU. I had the good fortune of being here in 81, working for Lavelle Edwards, and Jim McMahon and Steve Young happened to be the quarterback. So it was a good time to coach that position. That was. What do you remember most about that season? Oh, Jim was a character. Now, Jim McMahon was a character, great competitor, fun to work with, totally different than, than Steve's personality. So it was, a, it was a real challenge working with two different personalities that were really great players, obviously. Mark, so much of BYU's history has been in the Poinsettia Bowl. So what's it, what does it mean for BYU to be coming back this season? You know, I, you know, I was saying this earlier that that BYU really put the Holiday Bowl on the map. I mean, BYU played in the first seven games, uh, the national championship, the unbelievable comeback against SMU in 1980. And then when the Poinsettia Bowl started in 2005, you know, we were salivating at the thought of bringing BYU back to San Diego because we saw this as an opportunity. So we were able to do it in 2012, and uh, now to have them coming back in 2016, you know, we have never not had a great experience with the BYU Cougars in San Diego. And uh, we look forward to doing it again in December. Ted, what's one of the biggest benefits of having BYU specifically in the Poinsettia Bowl? Well, there's a lot of them. Number one, they have great fan base, which is always good for a bowl game. They have exciting football teams that play very competitively. They enjoy the experience when they're, when they're on the road. They enjoy the experience in a wholesome way. But I think the main thing is, is, is exciting football. You just look at the track record of the 12 times they've been in San Diego over the years. The games have been top notch, big crowds, and, and they're successful for everybody, for the players, the fans, the alumni, and for the Bowl Association, which is new for me being on that side. My career until I retired a few years back was all on the coaching side. So now I'm getting to look at the other side of it. It's much better and more exciting, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> sure, it's yeah. a change, it's a good change. So Ted mentioned the big crowds. So what can the fans expect this year, the Point Center Bowl, if BYU makes it, if they don't go to, you know, Not when, six, when they make it, when they make it. it. Yeah. And so, you know, what we pride ourselves on, and I think fans from BYU fans that came in 2012 could, would attest to this, is that we, we do our very best to put on the best bowl experience for our fans. The student athletes are going to have a great time. The university officials are going to have a great time. But the fans are too. And so we're really working hard to build that experience. So, for example, any, any fan that has a ticket to the game is also going to have discounts to restaurants and attractions throughout the county. Um, during bowl week. So that's a big, big bonus. We're also planning some special things in the parking lot uh, before the game as well. I mean, we are really working our hardest so that when fans come out to San Diego, book them now. I mean, let's get, get, uh, get all those Cougar fans out there for December. It is going to be the most amazing, unforgettable bowl experience. And you know BYU fans will be there. Yes. Well, yes. No They've proven themselves over the years. They have. They have. I mean, it, you're not speculating. Mm -hmm. You're just going on facts. It's true. They come out in droves. So in your opinion, Ted, what would be the ideal opponent for BYU in the Poinsettia Bowl? Well, I think it would, it would be a no-brainer to say. What's the political answer? A small, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, for us, it would be San Diego State and BYU. Because San Diego State, they got a 10-game win streak going now. They're going to be a very good football team. When we were in the same conference before, since I've coached on both sides of those, it's normally a good matchup. Even though BYU's won more than San Diego State has, I think it would be a tremendous game for our fans locally and for all the BYU fans and be a great game from an entertainment standpoint for the television people. Mm -hmm. Mark, do you have an opinion on that? Uh, you know, I'll agree with I'll agree with Coach. You know, it, it, there'd be it would be an electric atmosphere if we were able to get San Diego State uh, against BYU. I, you know, San Diego State. There's no love loss there for, for BYU and, and vice versa. I mean, it's a great it's a great rivalry. It's a healthy rivalry. And uh, we'd love to rekindle it in the Poinsettia Bowl there on, on December 21st. The, the moment that sticks out to me the most is Kyle Van Noy a couple of years ago in that Poinsettia Bowl. That was amazing. You know, in fact, we were talking earlier that once players are 10 years removed from playing in our game, they're eligible for our Hall of Fame. I think it's pretty safe to say that Kyle Van Noy is going to make it into our Hall of Fame. That was <laughs> an amazing. I remember watching that. It was almost surreal. Yeah. You know, those numbers are unbelievable. Yeah, he, he pretty much single-handedly won that game. He did. For BYU. Yeah. So Qualcomm, Qual, Qualcomm Stadium, that's yeah. how you pronounce it, right? Yep, you got is, it. is the home of San Diego Chargers. In your opinion, why is it one of the best stadiums for these college kids to come and play in? Well, I think initially it was because it was an NFL stadium and it's it's normally the weather's great and the vision of all the seats are good. But right now we're fighting some issues because 
the Chargers are trying to get a new stadium in San Diego. So it's, you know, through the years, it's, it's old, but to me, it's still a great place to watch a football mm -hmm. game. It has great tradition from past games. It's just there's parts of it that are outdated now compared to some of the new complexes in the NFL. But it's, it's a tremendous place for a college ball game, in my opinion. Well, hopefully a lot of BYU fans get to buy their tickets and uh, head to the Poinsettia Bowl at the end of the season. It is a guarantee. If and time. when. Yeah. BYU no, we're going to go win. There yeah. you go. I'm confident. That's thank, right. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with us. Our pleasure. At, we're going to take a short break, and at 5 Eastern time, we're going to come back with Ty Dent, Marino Mahe, Elisa Tuiaki, and Kalani Satake.